car 2020 model in good condition original documents red color excellent mileage price negotiable contact abc mobile number dash i'm repeating available car 2020 model in good in good condition original documents red color excellent mileage price negotiable then contact abc mobile number dash so now the advertisement the first question is the advertisement is for a sale of so this advertisement is for the sale of a sale of a dash so the option very obvious car so it's if it's for the sale of a car what's the status regarding the documents of the product what's the status write on the question what's the status regarding the documents of the car the options are expired unavailable original available all of the above so original available okay the original documents are available so you'll take the option original available third question is advertisement is dash the options are write on the question advertisement is a dash the options are for business for purchase for sale for matrimonial for sale yes the advertisement is for sale next question is the advertisement mentions the dash of the contact person the advertisement mentions the dash of the contact person date of birth address age contact number contact number so what's given or to us contact number fifth question is identify the type of error in the advertisement identify the type of error in the advertisement the options are it is too lengthy it is too lengthy second option is it has spelling errors third is it has incorrect information and number 4 it's not placed in a box ah uh, yes yeah in front of us it's it was not actually placed in a box yes it was not placed in a box it's not lengthy it's very brief and moreover even the model number is given okay documents are also mentioned then its mileage and all color price everything is mentioned okay even the uh, name of the car is also given maruti suzuki 2020 okay so as per these four options we would say like it's not placed in a box okay next question is what is not mentioned in the advertisement what is not mentioned in the advertisement the options are name address title both b and c name address title both b and c both b and c means address and title both are not there right so that was also the mistake advertisement should also have a title also for sale now next question is which of these media is not for advertisement which of these media is not for advertisement options are internet magazines billboards notebooks i'm repeating internet magazines billboards or what did i say notebooks 
So which media is not uh, meant for advertisements? In the internet, there are advertisements are always there. Uh, then second option is in the magazine also there are advertisements. Billboards are the boards which are put up on the roadsides. So there are the advertisements are always there. In the notebooks, uh, hmm. uh, but notebooks is not a media. <laughs> notebooks are not media. Notebook is not a means of media. Is that clear? So notebooks is correct answer option over here. Okay. Okay. Now next question is. Now another uh, writing task is. Uh, Sumit writes a letter. Now second question children. Now it's a letter. Sumit writes a letter to the SHO police station, Kanpur. Sumit writes a letter to the SHO police station, Kanpur, complaining about the absence of law and order in his colony. In his colony, Dalton Ganj. The name of the colony is Dalton, D A L T E N, Ganj, G A N J. Particularly because some, particularly, especially because some unruly bikers, because some unruly bikers often drive recklessly in the residential area, thus causing threat to the passers by thus causing threat to the passers-by. I'm repeating the question. Sumit writes a letter to the SHO police station Kanpur, complaining about the absence of law and order in his colony, Dalton Ganj, especially because some unruly bikers often drive recklessly in the residential area, thus causing threat to the passers-by. Got it? Have you got the question? It's a letter of complaint to the letter to the SHO police. Letter of complaint regarding the unruly behavior of the bikers. So the question first is choose the correct option. Choose the correct option. I'm speaking the options. You people listen and later on you write only the correct option. The sender's address should include sender's name too. The sender's address should include sender's name too. Is it okay? No. no, because sender's name is not must in the letter. We only write sender's address in the in the letter. Got it? What I'm saying? When we write a letter to and whenever we write any formal letter, we only write sender's address. We don't write sender's name. Got it? Second point is. The name of the SHO should also be written in the receiver's address. No, when we write the receiver's address, there also we only write his designation. Name is not required. If we know the name, nothing like that. But if we don't know the name, never mind. The designation speaks all. Okay, when you say, when you, whenever you write a formal letter, the designation is more important than the name also. Okay, if you want to write a letter to the principal of your school, you will simply say to the principal, Swami Sandas Public School. The principal would mean that because there is just one person who is the principal of the school. So designation speaks louder than the name also. Okay, so my question, uh, the statement was the name of the SHO should be written uh, before the receiver's address. No. Third is, the subject line should be written after the receiver's address. The subject line should be written after the, after the receiver's address. That is correct. Fourth option is the salutation should be written in the beginning of the letter. Wrong. So C option was correct. That is uh, salutation should be written after the receiver's address. That is correct. So through this question, the examiner has checked your knowledge of format. Okay, those students who might not have some knowledge of format, they will commit the mistake. Okay, second question is, 
choose the most appropriate subject subject line for the letter write down the question choose the most appropriate subject line for the letter what will be the subject of the letter the options are some bikers are troubling us do we write the subject like this okay sub, some some bikers are troubling us second option is chaos caused by unruly bikers c h a o s chaos caused by the unruly bikers third option is the problems in dalton ganj in dalton ganj no because we are talking about only one thing we are not talking about 100 things fourth option is my complaint about the bikers so second option was correct that is chaos caused by the unruly bikers okay there we are talking about the subject in brief okay why is the fourth d part wrong my complaint about the bikers we don't write subject formal letter in first person okay third question which of the following is not a suitable salutation right which of the following is not a suitable form of salutation options are respected sir esteemed sir dear sir dear mr sho uh, what is like question is which is not a suitable we can say respected sir it's okay we can say dear sir it's okay dear mr sho we can say but what is wrong esteemed sir you know we don't address somebody like this esteemed sir ha huh, we call this use it for like esteemed newspaper esteemed institute it's not an adjective for somebody like this okay next question select the option to elaborate the subject matter or your letter uh, select the option to elaborate the subject matter of your letter it means that now the examiner is going to check your knowledge of how to uh, your knowledge about the content of the letter what will you write in the letter four options of the content or the value points the writer is giving you and you have to choose the most appropriate one okay now listen to the options remember you are to choose the option regarding the subject matter that is content okay the option 1 is when i say 1 i will speak three points got it okay first option is dalton ganj a beautiful place people love to walk on roads biker also drive recklessly got it we didn't like it much but we cannot say like wrong because we have not yet read the other options second option is trouble for the residents of dalton ganj reckless driving by their bikers threat to the lives of pedestrians and others very relevant nothing seemed out of box yet let's read the other things maybe they are better bikers are always a nuisance is it okay bikers are always a nuisance bikers are always a nuisance are all bikers nonsense no here we are talking about only some reckless bikers okay so many people uh, drive big uh, bikes they are all no, they are not always reckless okay second so we don't i think i don't think i should go for this more option because the very first line is irrelevant but i'll still for your uh, amusement i can read it out a uh, lot of wastage of petrol and time so it's not required to tell them unhealthy for environment so not required okay d option is poor roads in dalton ganj we are talking about the bikers their recklessness we are not talking about the roads people unable to walk freely then potholes caused by the bikers so the only b option was correct that was trouble for the residents of dalton ganj reckless driving by the bikers threat to the lives of pedestrian by the bikers so that b option was correct with its three points got it now next question is the most appropriate ending of the letter is the options are ending of the letter note down did you note down the correct answer 
correct option for uh, second question that was like the subject matter what was the what's the correct subject matter i spoke up three points you people could have noted trouble for the residents of dalton ganj no better listen what i was saying acha you are talking about second question now i'm just talking about the question which we just did fourth question uh b option but you should know the points also for your knowledge it's not that uh, only you need to know the mcq for these exams you should know like what kind of points are required so you can do it later on okay now fifth question is the most appropriate ending of the letter ending i'm speaking the options i hope that you will de uh, deploy sufficient policemen in the area to check the menace maybe let's see i hope that you will deploy sufficient policemen in the area to check this menace b option you are therefore ordered to appoint police forces in our colony you are ordered can we tell any authority like this this is totally wrong you are ordered wrong vaise leave it third option kindly tell the bikers to drive safely in our colony will the policeman come and talk to the bikers like this okay d option is please come personally and arrest those bikers and put them behind the bars so a option was correct that was i hope that you will deploy sufficient policemen in this area to check the menace right okay now next question is which of the which of the following is not a suitable complimentary close which of the following is not a suitable close of the letter options are yours truly yours faithfully yours affectionately yours sincerely yes affectionately is absolutely wrong here because affectionately is used for informal expressions okay okay if i don't give the option yours affectionately then the out of the rest the three what will you say which one is wrong yours truly yours faithfully yours sincerely faithfully you will be saying is wrong because faithfully term has become obsolete no wrong i am saying wrong okay tell me the most appropriate one yours yours truly truly means that whatever we have written in the letter that is true sincerely means that i am sincere we are sincere to the people whom we know under whom we work usually clear somebody uh, with a person like sho we can be true got it got it and faithfully dog is a faithful animal got it dog is faithful to a criminal also and a dog is faithful to a policeman also so dog is faithful animal man is not such we are faithful we are sincere not faithful because the moment we find something is wrong we become we question okay ha huh? yes i'm saying that you might be yes the moment we find something wrong with somebody we question we don't rem we don't remain loyal to our master or, or to our to the elders or to the some or, or to the others blindly the dog remains okay dog is a faithful animal okay that's why dog is the most loved i guess pet okay it has its own charm okay uh yesterday the assignment which i had shared please do that the children those who might have done because there are some children th those who respond me and they tell me like they have done it okay for them i'll be sharing one more assignment okay from your class there are about eight or nine children those who regularly do the assignment they send me the answers so those children who are regular with their assignments for them i'll be sending one more those who did not do yesterday they do it first and then they do the next assignment which will which i'll be sending okay yes let me check attendance for the day okay yes children those who are online have you done the assignment 
from you people i didn't get any response regarding assignment so please do it today if you didn't do okay <clears throat> okay so meanwhile write the next question something from the literature now okay uh, write down yes write the question what did what did mr hamel bring for his class what did mr hamel bring for his class on his last day in the school okay notebooks without option also you should know the answer okay but still i'll speaking what did mr hamel bring yes dhruv listen what did mr hamel bring for his class on his last day in the school the options are new pens new notebooks sweets story books new notebooks uh the the expression the next question is the expression in great dread of scolding means the expression in great dread of scolding means bataiye what does it mean in great dread of scolding d r e a d in great dread of scolding what does it mean in great dread d r e a d in great dread of scolding what does it mean dread means fear he was afraid of being scolded okay what does this mean he was afraid of being scolded okay next question is there are two statements children then i'll ask you the options statement one is old men of the village were sitting there in the back of the room second option second statement is the order had come from berlin to teach only german in the schools of alsace and lorraine two statements are there one is old men of the village were sitting at the back of the class and second statement is the order had come from berlin to teach only german in the schools of alsace and lorraine but i am telling you these two statements are given then there are four options now you listen to the options i have not speak on the spoke on the options option 1 is if statement 1 is the cause statement 2 is the effect how hanji yes because there was an order from berlin that only german will be taught so people got to be shocked and they came to school so first second is the cause and first one is the effect okay now next question now there are again two statements ah that's a great trouble with elsas she puts off learning till tomorrow the question is statement is ah that's great trouble with elsas she puts off learning till tomorrow who is she here who is she the people the people of elsas are lazy they put off learning till tomorrow got it why do they put off learning till tomorrow because of the habit of procrastination and it's this habit is not just uh, about the people of elsas it's a universal habit it's a human habit but not all people are are victims of this habit okay first statement was ah that's a great trouble with elsas she puts off learning till tomorrow statement 2 is i was amazed to see how well i understood it got it i was amazed to see how well i understood it who is the speaker of the sentence franz franz says this when he was in the class and listened to m hamel and was like amazed to see like he was able to understand everything on that particular day now it has this also has a, a lot of things uh, there are so many things we can discuss with with this statement like in the beginning franz says that his teacher works cranky because he was not able to understand a single thing of his teacher but today he says my god he was able to understand everything 
teacher was so good how did this change come two things were there number one france today was france today wanted to listen secondly even the teacher wanted to give his best when the efforts are best from both sides the result comes up right okay now the op statements options are statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false statement 1 is true and 2 is 2 is false yes no second b is statement 1 is false but statement 2 is true statement 1 is false but 2 is true now third is both statement 1 and statement 2 cannot be inferred both cannot be inferred fourth is d option is both statement 1 and 2 can be inferred yes what is the meaning of inferred yes we can we can have information we can relate it with the story both statement 1 and 2 can be inferred so that is the correct option that is d option was correct over here many children did not even listen to this question because they did not feel much interest in this when are you not interested in listening when you think you are not understanding but when you are not understanding then your listening is more important than otherwise okay now the next question is hmm okay got tired okay so today please do the sample paper i'll be sending you